Good morning, second grade, and happy St. Patrick's Day. Today we're going to be learning about three-digit three subtraction, and we're going to really be focusing on regrouping in the tens. So let's do an example problem just like we did yesterday. We have 534 minus 128. We're going to look at the number 524, and we're going to draw it over here in our chart. I want you to think to yourselves how many ones, tens, and hundreds are in the numbers 534. I know that there are four ones in the number 534, so I'm going to go ahead and draw those over here. I then know that there are three tens in the tens place, so I'm going to draw those into our chart. And I know that there are five hundreds in 534. I'm going to go ahead and draw those in. And then I'm going to look at this bottom number. This bottom number is going to help us start to subtract by crossing off. So what we're going to do first is we're going to look over here in the ones place or over here in the ones place and we are going to see if we have enough ones to take away the bottom number. So we have four ones and we have to take away eight. We don't have enough ones so what we're going to do is we are going to call up our friend the tens and ask to borrow ten and he's going to say yes so we're going to move them on over. We're going to put our tens over here and then we are going to show that in our math. So we knew that we couldn't take 4 away from 8. Sorry, we knew that we couldn't take 8 away from 4. So we called up the 10s and borrowed those. We had made that a 2, and then this becomes a 14. So we have 14 minus 8 now. So we're going to go back over here in our chart and cross off 8. 1, 2, 3. Eight. And now we have 6 left over. So we're going to go ahead and put a 6 down here. And then we had two 10s, and we are taking away two 10s, which means we won't have any 10s left over, so we'll just put a 0. And then we have 500s, and we're taking away just 100. We have 406. The difference to this subtraction problem is 406. So what we're going to be doing today, instead of using that chart, we're going to try and Think about this in our heads and solve it this way. So what we're going to do first, second grade, is we're going to look in the ones place. We're going to see if there are enough ones to subtract 8. There are not. So what do we do when, when there are not enough ones then, when there are not enough ones to take away? We call up our friend the 10 and say, hey friend, can we borrow 10? And he says yes. So he becomes a 6. Our ones place then becomes 13. Now you see what I did there, just like we've been doing using the chart, but this time we didn't use the chart and we just used our um, brains. So we have eight, I mean we have 13 minus 8, which equals 5. We have 6 minus 1, which equals 5. And we have 5 minus 2, which equals 3. So we used, we thought to ourselves, if there were enough ones first, this was the first step, um, there were not enough ones, so we called up the 10 and asked him to borrow some and he said yes so we regrouped by calling up the 10. Let's try another one together. We have 328 minus 109. So what we're going to do first is we're going to look in the ones place. Let's look in the ones place. We have 8 and we want to take away 9, but we can't do that because there's not enough ones. So what we're going to do is we're going to borrow 10 from the 10s and we are going to make the 8 now 18. So we can then do our subtraction. So we're going to look in the ones place. Second, we're going to regroup if we don't have enough. And then we are going to subtract. Always starting in the ones. All right, so let's start subtracting. We have 18 minus 9, which is 9, a nice doubles fact for us. Then we have 1 minus 0, which equals 1. And then we have 3 minus 2, which equals 2, making the difference 219. Let's try another one together. 
we have 975 minus 319. So the first step is we're going to look in the ones place. Do we have enough ones to take away 9? We don't. So we're going to call up the 7 or the 10s and say, can we borrow some? And he's going to let us borrow 10, so he becomes a 6, and the 5 becomes a 15. We're then going to subtract. We have 15 minus 9, which gives us 6. We have 6 minus 1, which gives us 5, and 9 minus 3 gives us 6. So remember that we start in the ones place. Always. All right, let's try one more example. We have a nice word problem here. So it says, there are 357 clovers in my front yard. There are one, are, were 129 clovers in my backyard. After I picked some, there were 211 left over. How many clovers did I pick? So remember, friends, when we did two-digit subtraction and we were chanting in class, you have to find the sum before you take away. So what we have to do is we have to find the sum of the total number of clovers that were in the front yard and the backyard before we take away. So we could show that in a part, part, whole model if we wanted to. I'll draw one over here. You don't have to use it, but it might help you. So let's draw a part, part, whole model. We had 357 in the front yard and 129 in the backyard. And we're looking to figure out how many were the total. So what we're going to do is add these two numbers together, 357 plus 129 gives us 7 plus 9 gives us 16. So we're going to put the 1 up here, keep the 6 down here. We have 5 plus 1 equals 6 plus 2 equals 8. And then we have 3 plus 1, which equals 4. So there were 489 total clovers in the room. So then what we need to find out is if there were 211 clovers left over, how many we picked. So there's still just a total of 489. There were 211 left over. We have to figure out this number over here. So what we're going to do is we found the difference, right? We found the, I mean, we found the total, I'm sorry, before we began to subtract, which is awesome, and now we are going to subtract. So we have 489 minus 211. So now I'm going to look in the ones place and see if I have enough ones to take away one, and we do. So don't be robots here. Make sure that you're looking in the ones place and just not regrouping just because you think you have to, because sometimes you don't have to. So we have 9 minus 1 we have, gives us 8. 8 minus 1 is 7. And 4 minus 2 is 2. So, so we picked 278 clovers. So this will help you when you um, do today's math um, on your own. I am going to ask you to complete page 428. And it goes on to the other page of 429. Numbers 1 through 9. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out and let me know, and I will help as best as I can. Have a great day.